The NFL scouting combine got underway from Indianapolis, and day one was focused on offensive linemen and tight ends, along with kickers and punters, but also NFL personnel. Nearly 25 coaches and general managers spoke to the media today. Nearly all of the AFC East spoke today. That's the division you cover, Kevin. What really stood out for you? Well, the big topic was the quarterback position, which is interesting because this is the division that has arguably the best quarterback in the entire NFL and Tom Brady. But the three teams, the Bills, Dolphins, and Jets, all spoke about the quarterback position. The Jets, Rex Ryan and Mike Tannenbaum, again, very confident confident in Mark Sanchez. You know, even though he struggled at the end of last year and there were some problems, you know, in the huddle in the locker room, very much in favor of Mark Sanchez continuing as a starter. Chan Gailey said to me that he believes Ryan Fitzpatrick can win a Super Bowl for Buffalo. He's a very confident in Fitzpatrick. And the Miami situation, you know, they said Jeff Ireland said that Matt Moore is still on the roster and he played well for Miami, but it seems very clear they're going to go out and get another quarterback. Quite a compliment to say he's still on the roster. It seems like you couldn't go through an interview without hearing Peyton Manning's name either mentioned or inferred in some way today. Two of your teams you talked about, the Jets and Dolphins, have been talked about as possible locations if Peyton Manning were to leave and go somewhere else. What did they have to say about Peyton? Well, the Jets, Rex Ryan had field a couple questions, which was, if you are so confident in Sanchez, why not just close the door on the Peyton Manning rumors? And the answer was, you know, they're doing their due diligence, and we've seen the Jets do it before with Brett Favre. So it's not out of the realm of possibility. And Mike Tannenbaum said, you know, they, they will study everybody, they'll look at every possible need, every possible player. The Dolphins didn't really talk about it very much, although Jeff Island did acknowledge did learn there's a billboard in Miami about getting Manning to Miami. So that was all we heard from Miami. But the Dolphins are still considered maybe the front runner if Pay Manning is not going to be in Indianapolis next year. Yeah, obviously, the fans very interested in taking out a billboard, getting that going. The Jets did speak. They're always interesting to hear as long as Rex Ryan is a part of the team. Last year here at the Combine, he did say that he thought the Jets would be Super Bowl champions. This year, he's taking a little different approach. Yeah, he opened his press conference. He knew everybody wanted to talk about his promise last year, and he said that it was a big mistake. He said, looking back on it, that was a reason. He even said that correlated with the fact that the Jets struggled so much, putting all that pressure on his team. Rex was still very confident, though. You know, let's not, this is not a whole new Rex Ryan. He's very confident in his team, and he wants his team to become more of a team. And that's one thing he really focused on, getting that chemistry back that they lost at the end of that last season. So no Super Bowl promises, but still very confident, very outgoing, and sometimes humorous Rex Ryan. The, the NFL player personnel guys and coaches will continue, but we'll focus more on the draft as we get to quarterbacks, wide receivers, running backs. We're all looking forward to that. It'll continue throughout the scouting combine at profootballweekly.com. It's never too early to start thinking about the NFL draft, and Pro Football Weekly's new draft database has you covered. Check out updated player rankings for over 750 prospects and our exclusive PFW Stockwatch. Just go to the draft tab at profootballweekly.com.